Hello. Today is a great day for a miracle. Thank you for taking a walk with us into this world of miracles where we explore a series of spectacular incidents that took place during the life and times of Jesus Christ. These are called miracles. I am the Reverend Ronald Nathan and I'm the minister of the Hogard Amy Zion Church in Jackson in the parish of St. Michael in the Republic of Barbados. A miracle is an extraordinary and astonishing happening that is due to the presence and actions of God. The miracles of Jesus Christ gives us a glimpse of his compassion, his identity, and of his future plans, which culminates in our exclamation, Oh, my God! These OMG moments explore the various intricacies of the miracles of Jesus. Today, we explore once again Jesus' uh, speaking to the fig tree that would wither found in Matthew chapter 21, verse 18 through to 22. And I read, Early in the morning, as Jesus was on his way back to the city, he was hungry. Seeing a fig tree by the road, he went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. Then he said to it, May you never be a fruit again. Immediately the tree withered. When the disciples saw this, they were amazed. How did the fig tree wither so quickly, they asked. I shared yesterday that the divine purpose, the intention and will of God, is tied up in all that God has created. An indication of this is reflected in the words of King David in the book of Psalms. He states, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. A work that was declared during creation as being good. That which was created worships by being true to its very nature. So mango trees worship by producing mangoes. Those created as human beings are expected by God to worship as those who are made in the image and likeness of God. With the interruption deformation and corruption of humanity due to the first disobedience or to use the apostles Paul's words for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God we no longer worship with our lives and therefore we are not fruitful or bearing fruit according to the creative purpose of God. The miracle of the withered tree is an example to us of our fall from fulfilling the purpose for which we are created, and that is to worship God with all of our lives. So pastor, what you are really saying is God's expectant return on his creative investment is worship? Yes, that is absolutely right. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. So says the Apostle Paul in the book of Romans and the 12th chapter. So when Jesus is walking along and becomes hungry and approaches a fig tree that is full of leaves instead of figs, 
he is disappointed. Disappointed that the fig tree has not honored its created contract to worship with figs. Let us be fruitful in our living by giving worship to God so that those who come upon us in the streets, at the mall, at home, even at church, would find us bearing fruit, fruit according to the nature of righteousness, love, truth, and justice. Let them come across a juicy fruit of the Holy Spirit within us. So as they squeeze us, we will worship God. So there you have it, God the Father working the extraordinary through his Son for his praise, glory, and honor. Today, God wants to be praised, glorified, and honored in our ordinary circumstances. For that is where miracles begin, when we believe him to show up, show forth, and show off. God bless and have a great day.